It's no secret that the renovation process can be a daunting one. Allaire Homes is helping people navigate the process to take a lot of the stress out of it. They join us in studio today to let us know exactly how they're doing that. Here with Leslie from Loft3 Design Company, talking about how to alleviate a little bit of the stress that goes along with a renovation or a rebuild or really any kind of a, a project in your home. Leslie, I would imagine right now you're leaning on a lot of online tools to help bring their image to life. Lots of people have Pinterest accounts and things like that that they look at all the time and they save images that they love. So it's easy for them to share that with me so that I can get a real sense of the look that they like and what they're going for. So communication right now is key, marrying their vision with what you can actually bring to life. Absolutely. Yeah, really getting a feel and a sense for what they want. There's so many images out there, so many designs, and so sometimes it's hard for them to figure out how to put it all together to get what they want. So logistically, when it comes to the process of picking out finishings, what does that look like for a client? Is it is it actually a little easier on them now? They're not necessarily going from store to store, you're doing that for them? Absolutely. People would usually go to lots of different suppliers and look at thousands of samples. Now once I have a sense of what they're looking for, I can go pull a few samples for them, bring them to them in their home or online if they're more comfortable, and then they can just make a choice from a small selection. When it comes to a renovation project, people are really using their homes differently these days. Are you finding that people are leaning on choices to make their space a little bit more relaxing and, and a stress-free environment for them? For sure, especially with people working from home, kids working from home. There's so much more extra that's at your house, you know, that normally isn't there, files and things like that. So having a lot of good storage solutions and a workspace and stuff so they can put everything away when they're not using it is really key. What about colors and design choices? Are there certain trends that people are now moving away from and sort of starting to embrace differently? I think so. We've seen a lot of grays and stuff in the last little while that are cold and a little bit more modern, and I think we're going to see a lot of that warming up. So I think we're going to see a real trend towards warm elements. Um, just like in the 80s when there was a recession, everyone had the gray to begin with, and then as we went into the 90s, people were spending more time at home, and they moved into more comfortable finishes and elements, and I think we're going to see tons of that. Kevin here with me from Remax Elite. Okay, Kevin, when people are talking about renovating or they're talking about purchasing, it really comes down to money, protecting their investment. Where does a realtor come in in order to make the process feel a little bit less scary and a little more certain? It's a great question. So at the end of the day, we actually have a fiduciary obligation to our clients to represent their best interests. And often that interest comes into play with the renovations. That doesn't necessarily pertain to just buying and selling a home, but it comes down to advising them on certain renovations, certain things that they should do, what they shouldn't do with their money, and ultimately what's going to be in their best interests. So a realtor is really helping protect someone's investment, whatever their plans are, whether they're going to resell or flip a home or whether they're going to stay there long term. Absolutely, yeah. Depending on where they are at life and their stage in life, I can advise them on what's in their best interest again. If, if it's going to be a, a sale, then definitely you want to appeal to the masses. Um, there's going to be certain color palettes that are in and certainly some that are out. A lot of times projects need paperwork. A realtor helps kind of navigate that process and let a client know what permits they might need in place before they start. Yeah, so permits are a very important part of renovations. Uh, when they're dealing with structural renovations, obviously building additions need to be approved, uh, but even things like basement development, electrical, HVAC, plumbing, anything substantial with the home does need a permit. And if you choose to do these renovations without permits and you go to sell, you do have to disclose that to the buyers. So it can affect buyer confidence moving forward. So you're really facilitating the conversation to make sure that they're making the best choice possible with their money. 100%. Yeah, I, I always tell people, if you have to sell your house and you phone me, I want to be confident that you've done the right thing to get it done. Here with Andre from Allaire Homes. And Andre, let's just address it. When we're talking renovations, we're talking about stress and managing some of the uncertainty that goes along with that. Walk me through the process of how Allaire is making the renovation process less stressful for their clients. Uh, you're absolutely right. It is a stressful process, but having the right team uh, to do your project is going to be the key to your success. So having the right realtor, right designer, right subtrades is going to make it a breeze. Communication really is key here, Andre. I'm sure that you're helping clients really bridge that gap between the things that they see and fantasize about online and can bring to reality. I think the biggest thing that we really focus on is that relation, relationship aspect. So it's a team effort. You, know, you need to have good team members on there. You need to have, be able to trust them. Uh, if you don't trust your designer or if you don't trust your realtor or your contractor, this project's just not going to work out. There are a lot of helpful tools out there that are helping facilitate some of these conversations and to be able to have them virtually. 
Absolutely, and it's actually been a lot more fun than it was you know, when it first started. Uh, being able to share your screen and show you know, budget numbers, even images of what the clients are getting for fixtures, for flooring, and starting to go through those kind of, it's, it's, it's the new normal. People are used to it now. Uh, at first, you know, everyone on a Zoom camera was very cringy, but now everyone's very comfortable to have that conversation, and they feel more comfortable that way too. When it comes to picking a team, what are you looking for with other contractors? We're looking for contractors that are trustworthy, reliable, and they are actually going to show up when they say they're going to show up and do the work that they're supposed to do. You'd be surprised when it comes down to the construction industry uh, how many things can go sideways. So when it comes to building a team, good sub-trades, good designer, and a good realtor really bring it all together to make sure that your team is successful. For more information, visit alairedmonton.com.